Once there was a Dutchman, his name was Johnny Rebeck. He was a dealer in sausages, sauerkraut and speck. He made the finest sausages that ever more be seen. Till one day he invented the wonderful sausage machine. Oh, Mr. Johnny Verbeck, how could you be so mean? I told you you'd be sorry for inventing that machine. All the neighbors, cats and dogs will never more be seen. They'll all be ground to sausages in Johnny Verbeck's machine. Howdy y'all, welcome back to Wednesdays with Will. Clearly we're not in the kitchen at the church. We're up in northern New Mexico near, near uh, Angel Fire. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Angel Fire. Okay. And so we're in the mountains. We're at about 9,000 feet. So that may affect some of our cooking. It has affected our cookies earlier today. But uh, so the, you may have noticed the song I started out with. That's one of the songs I grew up uh, singing in Boy Scouts. And so if you want to hear the rest of it, get with me later. All right. Uh, but uh, for now, uh, we're going to get going and cooking. We're going to make some chicken pot pie. Normally, I would do this in a Dutch oven, but we're in an area that's under a burn ban, so we can't use charcoal, so Dutch ovens are not are out, but we found a workaround on that. Uh, we found some little stovetop ovens, and we're going to try it in that. Hopefully, it turns out. So we're going to start with our ingredients. So over here, uh, we're going to use some chicken stock, some whipping cream, butter and flour, and a little bit of better than bouillon to give it some flavor. And that's gonna be our cream sauce that everything goes in. And then we got some mixed vegetables, a little chicken, and then crescent rolls, and, and some more butter to, to make sure it doesn't stick to the pans. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our chicken in the water boiling. Let me turn the water on real quick. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna, it's okay, we're out in the woods. So if it splashes, you know, it splashes. But, okay, so our chicken's in there boiling. You know, I always gotta forget something. Let me break that up a little bit. So. You know, speaking of forgetting something, we're getting everything out, getting ready for this. I'm like, oh, the chicken's not in the cooler. It must still be in the freezer at home. So we're running into angel fire. Thank goodness we're not very far to get some more chicken because we had no chicken. But now the next step, we're gonna make a roux for our sauce so that it'll thicken up. So we got a big crew here. We got 10 people we're trying to feed. So we're gonna make quite a bit of chicken pot pie so I'm gonna start with a stick of butter in there and my trash is over here and get that heating and melting maybe not that high but okay so all my spatulas are over here there we go all right so I'll tell you, it's beautiful up here. Y'all are probably missing this nice cool weather we've been having. <laughs> I know before we got here was in the, the low or upper 20s at night. Luckily it wasn't quite that cold our first night here, which was last night. And so, you know, I could have had this melted, but anyway, while that is melting, I'm gonna get this, start getting our pans ready. Let me heat these up a little bit. So we can, we'll melt some butter in those so that our stuff doesn't stick. But, so it's been probably two years since I've made this. I usually make it for the men on scout campouts. Uh, and so we are, like I say, it'll be an experiment today with these new ovens. So far to, Day we, we, well, last night we, we cooked foil dinners in them and those turned out pretty good. Uh, today, Maggie cooked some cookies in them and those were pretty good too. So we're, we're starting to kind of figure the timing out on them. But, so you see Rosie is down at my feet. You might not see her in the shot, but 
She's the Ross's dogs. We're up here with the Ross's camping, getting a little break from everything back in Taller Station. So while that's still butter still melting, we're gonna get this first pan ready. And we're just gonna take these crescent rolls and use them to line our pan. So Sometimes they work better than others, but this is the bottom so it doesn't have to look fancy. You can just get it in here, okay? <laughs> Everybody's trying to get the dog, but the dog knows I might drop something. So the dog is here, <laughs> but that's okay. I did dump out some chili earlier in the woods, tried to bury it, but the dog saw me burying it. So at least I don't have to sleep with a dog. It's not my dog, so, <laughs> you know, it, I'm sorry for them, but because she found it later and, and she keeps looking for more, but there is no more chili up there. Uh, so we'll see. All right, our butter's about melted. So now we're gonna add in about a cup of flour, we've got about a cup of butter, so, or a quarter cup of, I mean, a, yeah, whatever stick is, a quarter cup, half a cup, yeah, half a stick is a, so that looks about equal parts. And we're gonna stir that real good as it's cooking in here. So, let me get this. But and when I'm making this sauce, you know, I just make it. I, I you know, I don't really know what the measurements are. If if we have too much. It's a real, it's a, it's a pot pie full of filling. So if not, you know, it's a, I, you know, I just all made this from scratch one time and figured it out and kind of make the same thing each time. But you know, you got to get it. So my measurements, I don't really have measurements for you, but if you'll just watch the video, you can put some stuff in there and usually it turns out if it turns out right, it thickens up real good. And so. And I never know how long to go on the roux, you know. Eventually it's ready. You smell it. And, you know, I've never been trained in cooking other than out on scout trips, you know. That's where I, that's where I really learned to cook for large groups because we had a pretty large troop. We had about 80 or 90 people in there. Most of the time we cooked in patrols, so it was only six or eight of us boys that were cooking for ourselves. But three or four campouts a year, we'd have big uh, circus tent and we'd cook as a troop. And so I, I was always, as I got to be an older scout, I was always involved in the logistics side and spent a lot of time in the kitchen cooking for anywhere from 80 to like on a film out weekend, we might have 150 people because we'd have families and all there. And so we, you know, that's where I learned to cook in large quantities. But, okay, I think that's about ready. So we're gonna add in some chicken stock or chicken broth. Oh, look at that. Okay, we've got our, our flour and our and butter and our chicken broth in there. Now we're gonna add some cream. Just makes it all kinds of yummy when we put that in there, you know, if I can get it open. Let's see, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna add about half of this in here. Just, 
We can always add more in a little bit. All right. And then I'm gonna add some better than bouillon. I just do this to taste. This is a large batch, so I'll put quite a bit to start in there. We'll get this stirred up real good and see. Then once we once we got this to the taste we like, we're gonna let this heat and thicken for a little bit. Our chicken is starting to to boil. I might turn that up just a hair. I don't want to turn it up too low. But Let me grab another spoon here so I can taste it. See where we're at. Oh, that's tasting pretty good. So I think we're about right on our, our mix. Although I might need to add a little more just so we have some more volume. Because we got a big group. I got to make three pot pies here. So we're going to go ahead and put a little more in here. A little more of everything. About half of that bunch. Because what I've found is people don't mind if there's a little extra filling in their pot pie. And so let's. Woo! Splash. Well, it's not cooking with will unless there's a little mess, right? <laughs> So here we go. All right. Good news is when we get back home, all this stuff can be hosed down with a pressure washer and we'll be in good shape. We've got all our pans ready. We've got three pans ready. Uh, and now our chicken is boiled. It's ready to cut up. And, and our sauce has gotten nice and creamy. So it's just gonna get thicker and thicker as it bakes in the oven. So we're gonna cut up our chicken. You know, cut it, shred it, you know, some combination of the two, you know. And then that'll all go in the mixture. Oh, I got one more tendon here. Let me get rid of that. Oh, Rosie may have seen that. Rosie will come back for it later. I'm sure. All right. So the chickens shredded up, cut up in there. I'm gonna put our mixed vegetables, some peas, carrots, some corn, green beans, and we'll stir all this stuff up. All right. And so, let me move this stuff out of the way. We're ready to fill our pans with all this goodness. A little chicken. All right. That worked out just about the right amount. You get lucky sometimes. So now, let me get my foil back out here. We're gonna cover the tops with crescent rolls and then they'll be ready to go in the oven, so. Pies 
guys are ready to go in the ovens. And like I was saying earlier, there's a burn band, so we had to come up with a new solution. We found these little ovens that Coleman makes. They fit on top of a camp stove. They, you know, they look kind of like a little safe, but uh, we're gonna try, try them out for the pot pies and hope for the best, because it's what's for dinner, right? So we're gonna try putting two in this one. As you can see, Rosie's back behind me. She just knows I'm gonna drop something. Uh, and she can't wait for it. Unfortunately for her, it's all in the pot pies, so she'll just have to wait till dinner, I guess. And so now we're gonna cook those. What temperature? I don't know, 300, 350. I mean, it cooks whatever the touch oven is. You know, there's some formulas you can try to make those work. Uh, these are pretty good. I can adjust the heat and make sure it doesn't get too high. It's hard to go real low because the wind sometimes blows the flame out, but I think we're in good range. We'll cook those. Let me get that shut. And so there you have it. We'll look at the pot pies when they come out. <laughs> So I think they're ready to come out of the oven. We're gonna pull them out and see if the magic happened. So here we go. There's the first one. That looks looks good. Let's go check this other oven. All right, another pot pie. I don't know where I'm gonna set the third one, but we'll pull it out. One more pot pie. I think dinner's ready. All right. Well, y'all stay safe and we'll see you next time. Hopefully we'll be back together soon. Talk to you later.